Hesitating to pull the trigger on any of the Commonwealth scum can be fatal. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? As long as it doesn't involve petroleum jelly and rubber gloves, I'm ready. No, no. This isn't that sort of examination. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? My father said I used to sit way too close to the television. The television? Wait a second. Let me check my notes here. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Honestly, I don't remember. Well, you don't appear to be suffering from any long-term ill effects, so I'll assume you haven't. Third question, and please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? Those species aren't my type. Good. I find the practice highly distasteful myself. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? If my life's in danger, I'll do whatever it takes to defend myself. That's an acceptable answer, and the most common. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Good, you're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. What are you doing with all these books? I suppose I could stop working for a moment to address your question. Makes sense to get rid of the trash. Well, I'm pleased you agree. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Just learning my way around the Pridwen. Learning your way around? Ah, I see. You're the new recruit that Paladin Dance described in his report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. fix it. You're the one who decided to kick your way through a mire park. So, you're the new recruit I heard about. There it is. Huh, not what I was expecting. What were you expecting? The last batch of recruits we took on were wastelanders. Dirty, beaten up, looking for a handout. They were desperate and looking for an easy out. You look like you're here for a reason. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram. 
And this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. While you're at it, my car is making this weird grinding noise when I back it out of the driveway. <laughs> you're gonna have to take a number. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. I understand. Good. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. There's a Pretty decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Put two in the head and they'll stay dead. Advice to live by. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. Why are you in there? I'm glad you asked. Now, this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. That's good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. When I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, they give me the stink eye. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. I could use some extra caps. You need them, and I want you to spend them here. It's a match made in heaven. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and... interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod, even ammo. You just let me know.